and good morning. I'm meteorologist Leslie Lopez and today we are seeing some very windy conditions. We have a red flag warning. Santa Ana conditions are here to stay for the next two days. We're seeing about 29 mile per hour sustained winds through Malibu. Of course, major concerns because there was a fire earlier this morning. Firefighters, though, have great, gotten a great handle on it. So the good news is uh, the winds will also diminish by the time we're heading into your lunch hour. Today we are seeing a red flag warning, though, extending for most areas in the Southland. Now the red flag warning will expire a little bit earlier if you're into Santa Clarita, also northern parts of Los Angeles and then Ventura County. But if you're into areas of the foothills, Inland Empire, Orange County, it's going to take you till 7 o'clock tonight. High wind warning also in effect. This means that we have gusts of about 60 to 65 miles per hour. It means that we could topple trees and power lines with that velocity. And then if you're heading over into areas where we're seeing this tan color stretching from Oxnard all the way down into Long Beach, it's a wind advisory. So gusts are going to be a little less strong. However, we're still talking about 45 to 55 mile per hour gusts at times, which is still Still a strong wind going through areas of the Southland throughout the afternoon. All right, winds are going to be forecasted to really quiet down by the time we're heading into noon into your evening. And then by the time we're heading into the next several days, temperatures slowly start to decline. It's still hot tomorrow, 82 degrees, but then we start to see temperatures fall down to about 73 over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. That still means we're above average and there's no chance of rain here for the next seven days. Valley's Inland Empire, 88 today, 85 tomorrow, down to 76 on Sunday. Overnight lows into the 50s. Heading out towards areas of the beach communities, uh, we are going to also notice uh, we are going to see waves that have really gotten much smaller over the course of the last two days. Temperatures even along the coast are around 82 degrees. That's not unusual for Santa Ana. We usually have warmer weather right at the coastline versus in our high desert communities. So you'll notice that for the high desert, we're going to be into the 70s today while the beaches are into the 80s. For the mountains, though, 57 overnight lows into the 20s and then heading out towards that high desert, 71 today. 73 tomorrow, and we'll keep those low 70s going through Sunday.